Today we're taking a look at what comes in the Brio Beardscape box. Now typically when I review a product, it's because I've already used it for 30 days or more. Well this product is going to be a little bit different because those videos, when it comes to electric shavers and stuff, tend to be a little bit long. So today, we're just going to talk about what's inside the box, as well as a few of its key features. The first thing I noticed with the Brio Beardscape Pro is that the box is pretty nice. It's got ghosted in images on it there. And it is a heavier box. On the back here, it shows you everything that you get with the Beardscape Pro. And well, it's just a nice package altogether. Now, I thought that that was gonna be it. And when I opened it up, everything would be in there in its own little containers or maybe even bags. Although I couldn't hear anything when I shook it. And well, I was very pleasantly surprised to learn that once I opened this, there's yet another container. And that is the actual case for the Brio Beardscape. And I have to say that this is built very nicely. It's got kind of a rubberish type texture on the outside of it. But let me tell you, the largest surprise was when I opened the lid. Because this is just not any ordinary container. This has a spot for everything and it's kind of got a nice velvet interior to keep everything nice and scuff free. Now what do you get with the Brio Beardscape? Well, it comes with four double-sided reversible guards ranging from one millimeter all the way up to 18. It comes with one charge stand, a cord, as well as a plug. It comes with a zero blade set at 0.2 millimeter. It comes with one one millimeter to 1.9 millimeter adjustable blade. That's the one that comes on the razor itself. One mineral oil and one cleaning brush. And like I stated earlier, everything has its place in this case and everything fits very snugly. So you're not gonna end up having a mess if you end up traveling with this or decide to store it in this case. Now at this point, Brio already has surprised me and surpassed my expectations. However, Brio still had yet another surprise for me and that's when I went to go plug in the little charging stand. Because well, most companies give a long enough cord to reach an outlet, you know, maybe a foot, maybe a foot and a half. However, Brio has really went out of their way and sent about a seven foot power cord. So you can have this thing on the opposite side of your counter in your bathroom if you need to, and it is going to reach. Now normally I would say that a seven foot cord is definitely probably going a little overboard. However, I do wanna point out that this is not your standard power cord. It is a USB on one end, but on the other you don't have your standard mini USB like you do with most of your other chargers. Instead, you do have a kind of a proprietary charging plug to plug into the stand itself. So you definitely want to make sure that you don't accidentally lose this cord. And because it is so long, you can place it wherever you need to, which I would have to say is definitely a plus. One of the features of the Beardscape Pro is its LCD screen, which shows everything from how much burden you are putting on the razor, which may indicate that you need to clean it or it needs oil, as well as an RPM for your speed, how fast the blade is going, to the available time that you have left going that speed, as well as it will even remind you about every 60 minutes or so that it needs Oil. And of course, there's also a charging prompt on it as well. The Brio Beardscape has multiple RPMs or speeds for the razor. It goes from 5,000 all the way up to 7,000 RPMs. With the higher speed RPMs, your battery is going to be going dead sooner. So you also have a runtime meter, 
which shows from 240 minutes at 5,000 RPMs to 180 minutes at the 7,000 RPMs. When using the adjustable cutting head, you have one millimeter, 1.3 millimeter, 1.6 millimeter, and a 1.9 millimeter options. And those lengths are all controlled with the little slider on the unit. To change the length, you simply push down on the brown button and slide the slider to the appropriate length that you're looking for. As you see here, it is fairly simple to attach one of the guards to the Brio and to remove it, you just simply pull on one of the tabs and angle the Brio out. To charge the Brio Beardscape is rather simple. You just have the cord facing away from you, have the screen of the Brio facing you, and it will sit down nicely and immediately start charging. To change the blades on the Beardscape, it's rather simple. You can just take your thumb and gently push down on the comb of the cutter, and it will pop right off. Then to put one of the blades back, there's a little tab on the back side of the cutter that you just place in the Brio. Then you lean the teeth section back and it will pop right back into place. If you have any questions about the Brio Beardscape Pro that I haven't already answered in this video, please leave them down in the comment section and I'll try to make sure that I answer them in the second half of this review. To see other electric shavers that I have reviewed in the past, make sure to check out this playlist up here. Down below, that's a video that you may also enjoy. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.